Hi, in this video I am going to install Docker in rootless mode on Ubuntu. Rootless mode allows running the Docker daemon and containers as a non-root user to mitigate potential vulnerabilities in the daemon and the container runtime. Rootless mode executes the Docker daemon and containers inside the user namespace. Let's get started with the installation. First install the necessary packages dbus user session, UID map, systemd container, docker c rootless extras. Note, if you install docker c rootless extras using the dep package, you don't need to add any manual app armor configuration for rootless kit. Well, go to the terminal. As you've noticed, I'm using Ubuntu 22. Log in as the root user. Create a user that will run the docker daemon. In my case, I've created the user named my user. Set the user's password. Update the list of available packages. Install the necessary packages. Here is the prerequisite section. etc sub UID and etc sub GID should contain at least 65,536 subordinate UIDs GIDs for the user. Let's check the files. All right, let's continue. The next step is to install Docker. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Just copy and execute the commands. Let's do it. We've already executed the apt get update command, so skip it. Besides the main packages, we must install the package named docker c rootless extras. Go back to the rootless mode page. After the docker installation, disable it. Check that the docker service has been disabled. We are ready to activate docker in rootless mode. To do this, we have to log in as the user. Note there can be an issue with systemd not detected during the installation. The reason is that rootless kit cannot detect systemd properly. To avoid it, log in using the command sudo machinectl shell myuser at. If you install docker 20.10 or later with rpm or dep packages, you should have the dockerd rootless setup tool script in the usr bin directory. Alright, run the script. To complete the installation, add the docker host variable in the .bashrc file. Then turn on the docker service on system startup. Alright, log in as my user again. Check that the docker service is running in the user namespace. The docker service is running and enabled. Reboot the host to ensure the docker will be started after booting as expected. I have rebooted the host and logged in as my user. Docker is running as expected. If we check the Docker service as root, you will see that the systemd white docker daemon is inactive. Run the container with the hello world image to check the dock is working. Perfect, the installation has been completed. Finally, I want to know that there are some limitations. Here they are. You can read them on the Docker website. That's it. I hope this video is helpful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you. Goodbye.